Hello everyone, I'm Aguiar2000 and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. Uh, because with my capacity being only 8 bombs, it's, uh, it's easy to run out if you're not very careful with them. Let's see if I can get a heart from this one, that would be very nice. This screen is not very, it's not too bad for fighting P-Hats. You've got a lot of obstacles, but at least you have a lot of range to go. And what's in here? Let's play money-making game. Whoa! I won 50 rupees. That was very, very lucky. Okay. Uh, then let's take those rupees and go right up here. Boy, this is really expensive. Okay, so I'm going to buy the food. Now, I could still buy a key here, but I'm not going to do that. Like I said I, uh, earlier, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I don't think we need them, especially not in the first level. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and move along. And what's up here? Uh, just another place to buy the blue candle, if I, but I already have it. Whew, that was close. Probably shouldn't have taken that risk. Alright, and up here, we have more tech tights. Okay. Another medicine shop. If I had the letter, which I still don't. It wasn't where, uh, it, uh, it isn't where it was in the first, ah, ha, ha. ah no, <laughs> surrounded, oh, wow, and now I'm back to full life, so quickly, buy something, really, the same store as where the ladder was in first quest, it's just a place to get the blue candle if you didn't already have it, which I do. Uh, speaking of blue candle, let's use that here. Secret is in the tree at the dead end. Okay, so that's the same clue as we got uh, there in the first quest, but once again, the clue doesn't quite refer to the exact same thing. So here are the Lost Hills um, at Mountain. Okay, and behind the waterfall, pay me and I'll talk. 20 rupees, she says go up, up the mountain ahead. So same exact clue as in the first quest, and it works out exactly the same way. Uh, same, it's the solution to how to go north from uh, the Lost Hills. It works exactly the same way. So here we got this blue Lionel. Takes six hits from the sword to take it down. Ah, I'd like to take out that Zolo. Ah, I'm not going to waste my time. So in here, master using it, and you can have this. Is the white sword, same as before. But we're not going to be able to get it until after we've cleared at least one dungeon uh, because of uh, uh, where things are. Um... Because we still need five uh, heart containers in order to pick it up. Uh, yeah, so let's employ that advice that we bought. Go up, up. As a matter of fact, you still have to do it four times. And... No dungeon here, just a fairy fountain. But that can be pretty uh, convenient. Now let's move on. Okay.
Whew. again. Those fairies are awesome. left to get on this side of the uh, Forest of Maze is the blue ring. Um, that costs 250 rupees, which will take some time to gather. So, while I'm gathering that, I can explore on the, um, well, I could try exploring on the other side of the, uh, Forest of Maze, but it would be very dangerous. After all, a single sword beam from those Lynels, which are very, uh, prolific over there, does two hearts of damage. That's two-thirds of my entire full life in a single hit. And I have no way of recovering my life in the field <laughs> because the letter isn't on this side. Um, so what I'm gonna do... Hmm, I think the best option is for me to just... Uh, farm up a bunch of rupees and then head on to the other side or better yet in